Mastercam 2023 has redesigned the Machine Group Properties page where we do things like set up our stock and our fixture. So I'm going to go through this part step by step to see how we would get it ready for throwing some tool paths on it. Under our Machine Group Properties, I'm going to go directly to Stock Setup. And first, we'll obviously notice that this is visually very different. If we hover our mouse over the icon, we'll be able to see the name of what that icon represents. So here in my stock setup page, I have a few options. I have add from bounding box, add from a file, or add from a selection from the screen. In this case, what makes the most sense for me would be to add a bounding box. When creating a bounding box around our part, the first thing we need to do is actually select the part that we want the bounding box to surround. So now that I've done that, I can start adding the extra material. To my X, I'm gonna add a quarter inch. To my Y, I'm also gonna add a quarter inch. And then to my Z, I'm gonna add a quarter inch, but I need to split that so that I have 50 thou above the part and 200 thou below the part. So first I'm gonna set my origin to the top and I'm gonna add my 200 thou. And then I'm gonna move my origin to the bottom and add my remaining 50 thou. Then I'm going to click OK. Now let's set up our fixture. So in the work holding page, I can click on fixture. And then again, I can select my fixtures from a level, from a file, or from a selection. In this case, I have all my fixtures on level two. I'm going to go ahead and select level two. Now the next page I'm going to go to is the tools page. So the tools page where we're used to turning on things like assign tool numbers sequentially or warn of duplicate tool numbers, you'll notice that we can actually add tools for our, to for our program before we even leave this dialog. So from here, I'm gonna open the tool manager and the first thing I'm gonna need is gonna be a face mill. So I'll add that. The next thing I'm gonna need is gonna be a 3 8 end mill as well as a half inch end mill. And I know that I also need a couple drills. So I'm gonna need a quarter inch drill. And I also need a 5 16 drill. I'm gonna click okay. So now I have my tools ready so that when I click okay here, those tools are gonna to be available inside of all my toolpaths. So for example, I'm gonna click on the facing toolpath under my tool, I'm going to select my two inch face mill that I've already loaded, and I'm just going to click OK. 